just taking this in. We're at a place called Clem Walton Park. It's on the Corella River at Corella Dam. Uh, just about 60k west of Cloncurry. And I'm sorry if I sound a little relaxed. But I can't even be bothered to chew on the flies. Um, what a what a magnificent spot we've got here. We rolled up here about uh, 9.30 this morning from Cloncurry. And uh, I reckon we got one of the best campsites in the area. Have a look at this. Our camp at Clem Walton Park. Just uh, behind the dam wall at Corella, Corella Dam. Flushing toilets up the back there. Bins and recycling. So the campsite's uh, Clem Walton Park and it's on the Corella River which is right behind me at Corella Dam and it's just a beautiful spot. There's Lady Muck. This is our view from under our awning. We're going to have to put up with that for a couple of days. Corella Dam here. We're, uh, what is it, about 34 degrees? Yeah. Beautiful day. The wind's gone from the last couple of days, which is nice. And, uh, yeah, very peaceful place. There's a few vans around here, but it's not packed. You couldn't say it was packed. But, uh, very nice spot. Well, we're not on, on the dam, we're down along the river though. But it's just as nice down here. It's actually better down there, I think, to be quieter and a bit more protected. They're out in the open around the dam. I suppose that's not busy, is it? There's four in about 200 metres there, so it's not a lot. Do I give Michelle a push? No! There's the dam wall, which you can't access from the other side. It's restricted, so uh, not much anywhere near it. day trip out from um, Corella Dam where we're staying at Clem Walton Park and we're just up at a place called Mary Kathleen it's a uh, an abandoned town or a ghost town if you want to call it that uh, that used to be a uranium mine back in the uh, I don't know, 50s and 60s uh, right up to it looks like about 84 so uh, we're going to go in and have a little look at that we can see where the name Clem Walton comes from Production was based on contracts, I can't read all that. And in 1984 production, I'm guessing, is ended and the township was auctioned off. 
So we'll head down in there and have a look. Well, the first thing we come across at the old uh, Mary Kathleen town site was the local swimming pool. Bits and pieces all over the place. That's an old uh, barrel vacuum cleaner. As you drive around the streets of the town, you can just see slabs where houses used to be. It's really strange. All the curves and roads are all still made. They just auctioned off all the buildings and cleared the site pretty much, except for roads and uh, the concrete slabs that the houses were on. Footpaths, roads, curbs, all made up. This is the town square. Looks like a fountain. Kathleen Uranium Limited, sorry, Mary Kathleen Uranium Limited, October 1958. The Mary Kathleen Mine, which we'll head down to in a minute and have a look at, is an aerial image of the, the old mine site. It's a pretty big town by the look of that photo. Two banks, two churches, eh? 54 was discovered, uranium was discovered. And down the chain there to 82, the mine closed and the entire town and mine infrastructure, including all the houses, were auctioned. The houses were transported to Mount Isa in Cloncurry and are still in use today. That slab over there used to be the cafeteria. And as we look over this way, we had the the general store, the library, the wet canteen, and general shops. Looks like a little garden area between the buildings here. Pretty fancy. I think it's lino tiles, linoleum. This is the entrance to the old mine. The Mary Kathleen Uranium Mine. We're just now at the Mary Kathleen uh, Uranium Mine site, the old mine site. I wonder if it's radioactive here. There'd be signs if it was. Yeah, it probably should, yeah. yeah we're just going to have a quick look around at some buildings here. HK lived here. Some pretty heavy bolts on those foundations. I don't know what these were. The graffiti artists have been all over the place. Well, we're on a quest to see if we can find the drone because um, some drongo crashed it and it's over there somewhere. Wish us luck. <laughs> 